Hey, it's Alex from Ultimate Gamer Pro, and I'm doing a video on resolution. Now, a lot of people ask me about resolution, and I thought, it's about time I just explained it. Then, I was playing this video, and I thought, okay, I'll just go over some resolutions, blah, 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 blah. And I realized, well, I explained some of it, when I can explain all of it. <laughs> so, I'm gonna explain a lot of things about uh, screen size and aspect ratio and interlaced and regressive. I'm gonna go across... 1080i versus 1080p uh, quality and shit like that. So there's going to be a lot here, and hopefully I'm going to make it short. I'm not going to overdo it, but we'll see. Because I can't leave you guys only knowing half of what's going on, which is kind of my reasoning. I, I don't know. So first we're going to talk about resolution. This is my bad handwriting. Um, I figured I couldn't be asked <laughs> to edit loads of pictures and stuff, so I thought I'd draw it. Now, I just wanted to see how that would turn out. For an explanation video, it seems like a good idea. Uh, so resolution is basically the screen size in pixels. And I'm going to leave it at that for now, but I'll explain a little bit more because it's not exactly that. It's not all that simple. So if we take a resolution that's very common, um, 1280 by, 7... <laughs> by 720, uh, and that is the resolution 720p that you see on YouTube, that's very common, and that literally means 12, uh, 1280 this way, and 720 this way. So the first value is the uh, width cross, and the second value is the width from the top and the bottom. The what is it? Vertical width. So the first one's horizontal, second one's vertical, uh, and that's that gives us a rectangular resolution. So there are also other ones like uh, 480p. I believe it's 360. Is it 360? Yeah, and there's other ones above that, like 1080p, which is the uh, top HD that we have at the moment, although I'll move on to that in a sec because there is something else there. But that's the, you know, that's the top you can get at the moment. Um, so yes, and these all these resolutions uh, are in are in the, in the ratio of 16 by 9, which I'm going to go on to, because there's also other ones like... Okay, it was a bit of a jump cut, but uh, I had to go for dinner, didn't I? Anyway, what was I saying? Is there are some other... Uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? There are some other different resolutions that aren't as common. So you have these ones, uh, 1080, 720, 480, 360, blah, 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 on YouTube. Um, that's because YouTube plays back in this ratio 16 by 9. There are other ones like uh, 640 by 480, and just because it has a 480 on does not mean it's 4 by 3. No, it does not mean it's 6 by 9. This is actually a 4 by 3 uh, ratio. Um, and now the other one, this thing for this is slightly different, but I don't know what it is. But there is, it's not, it's not actually 480p, but there is a resolution that ends in 480. That is different from this one because this first uh, part of this 480p resolution is different. So, if that made sense. Hopefully that made sense. Yeah. Um, but in a very basic sense, resolution is quality. Because um, <clears throat> as you know, probably, uh, 720p and 1080p are both HD resolutions. And the ones below, these ones aren't. Um, and obviously uh, 1080 is better than 720. You know that much. Um and it's it's the amount of pixels that you have on each screen. So if a screen was literally, well, I should do like If a pixel was one by one, then it would be one color because each pixel is one color. So, you know, you wouldn't see much. But if the screen is twelve D by seven twenty, then you've got like a ridiculous amount of pixels that I can't even draw. I don't know how many pixels that is. It's a lot of pixels. And then you can see a lot of colors. So that's like a really, it's a really extreme example. But you can see what I'm getting at, that you get you get more pixels. So yeah, that is, that is kind of resolution described basically. But then that's not the only thing that contributes to quality here. So yeah, resolution plays a part, but there's also the size of the screen. Because if I watch a 720 video that's shot in 720p, and bearing in mind here that you can only get the quality that you put in. So if I shoot a video in uh, 1080p, or no, 720p, and I watch it back, I, I, I 
I upscale it, and I'll get to this in a second, I upscale it to 1080, I'm only going to get the, the quality that I got with 720, and so the pixels will be just bigger. I'll just have I've made the, each pixel bigger, but there won't actually be any more pixels there. So you can see how size is also important as well. And then we get this other measurement called PPI, which is pixels per square inch. I'm going to put inch squared. Um, because obviously just an inch is, is this and a square inch is this, which is an actual square because you know, it's a square. So these lengths are the same as these sides. And I, I, I don't need to explain this. Yeah, square inch, there you go. So that's basically pixels per square inch, yeah. That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and so if you have, well, the more pixels per square inch, the better quality, that's what I'm saying. So if you get a phone screen, and this is why phones talk about a lot, if you get a screen here and it'll say, hey, this screen is five inches, and then it's uh, like a 1080p, 1080p screen, and then you have a TV, which is uh, 30, wow. Yeah, oh yeah, what am I doing? 32 <laughs> inch, uh, and that's also 1080p. The phone is actually higher because it has less, less square pixels, less square inches, uh, same resolution, whereas this is, an, yeah. Wow, I'm having like a really hard time here. <laughs> Okay, I think I can. Uh, I think I know how I can make this easier on us both. Um, imagine this is ten. Ten. Uh, this screen is ten square inches, uh, and then this is hundred square inches. The phone is <laughs> the phone is high quality because there are more pixels per square inches uh, than the TV. That's what I'm trying to say. So if you're looking for high quality, don't just look at resolution. Also look at the screen size, uh, and that'll tell you something else. So yeah, that's important. Now, I also want to talk about, what do I talk about next? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm looking at my notes right here. Oh yeah, I want to do go over some ratios uh, pretty quickly here. So there are a lot of different ratios. The most common being four by three uh, and 16 by nine, and the 16 by 10. I'll tell you through these. So four by three is, um, your old televisions, I guess, before they were flat screens, so there were CRT uh, CRT screens, which is cathode ray tube. Remember that. Uh, so these are CRT screens, screen, and they look square, but they're actually not. So they're kind of a little bit wider than they are that way. And this is a four by three screen. Then we have the most common, uh, which is widescreen. Well, kind of widescreen. Um, where yeah, it's, well, I mean, it's still wide. They're both widescreen, really, because this is this is still bigger than this, so it's wider than it wider than it is high. But I'm gonna call this one widescreen and that one no. <laughs> this is way more noticeable. So there's 16 by 9, which is the kind of thing you see on YouTube. Um, so yeah, that's like that's very common, and that's all these uh, 720p, 1080p all fit into this uh, 16 by nine ratio. Then there's 16 by 10, which is similar, but a little bit bigger. And this is uh, cinema. Now I guess it's used for other things, but what the fuck am I doing? Um, but I know for certain that it's used for cinema. Uh, and that's why you might see on TV, uh, quite common actually, if you have a 16 by nine TV, imagine this is your 16 by nine TV, suspend your disbelief, your TV doesn't like this is crap. Uh, you'll see that the movie well, when we take up this space, uh, so we have the movie here. I don't know. It's like this. This dude. This. The, I, this was very low budget. Um, but hang on. But black bars occupy this space. Now black bars are just like everyone's enemy, but they do play their part, so they're kind of important. Also, why don't I just fill this? Like, what, what, what am I even doing? Um, so yeah. You'll see black bars, and that's because this, you know, as I said, the screen is in 16 by 9, but the video is um, 16 by 10. So there are two ways that you can deal with getting to watch your movie. You can either, <laughs> um, you can either stretch your 16 by 9, sorry, your 16 by 10 into a 16 by 9 ratio. 
so that it's going to be a little bit more stretched this way and it's going to occupy the whole screen which is okay um, or have it like I've already drawn it here which is add black bars and downscale it so I mean if I drew that again you can see this is the 16 by 9 TV um, but the 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 movie screen is going to be the same six uh, no 16 across here sorry but it's going to be slightly taller so it's going to be like this uh oh, not like that not like that it's going to be like this and so because it's slightly bigger than that the only way to really deal with it is to downscale it which is i touched upon that earlier so that it's like this that that doesn't that's not scaling in the right place i don't want it to scale there but you see what I... This is how bad my drawing is. Jeez. Jeez, kebab. Just pretend that didn't even happen. Um, so, yeah. You get, you get like, that. I'm trying... I'm going I'm to do this. This is fucking stupid. What am I even doing? Oh, come on. Just, just work with me, man. It's not even going to look anything like the other drawing I did. Forget it. But, yeah. You can either stretch it or add black bars. Um, and black bars is actually the better option of the two. Um, stretching does kind of ruin the quality a little bit because you're making some of the pixels a bit bigger and so not every pixel is square anymore and that brings me nicely onto my next one now pixels are squares as most of you all know um, but there's another thing called pixel aspect ratio which I guess can be sure to PAR pixel aspect ratio um, where you can have square pixels yay square pixels thumbs up everyone likes that I'm gonna give this one a green tick or you can have slightly rectangular ones which is like the fuck bro um now honestly i don't know how this came about and i should have looked it up first i come to think of it but i'm just gonna say if you ever get the option whoa if you ever get the option when making a video to do square pixels yes or rectangular pixels no uh always pick the square ones and you'll see the pixel size ratio listed as 1.0 and the other one is 1.3 so yeah there's another weird resolution that's 1366 by 708 and 768 which is a little bit strange and it's a laptop resolution um and it's weird because it's more than 720p but it's less than 1080p so it's kind of this halfway house um and this has come about because well because hd was made popular by HD TVs, um, and so this is literally the just about just, like just a little bit more than the minimum the laptop uh, manufacturers can make their screens so for them to be HD. But before the HD thing with TVs, laptops did actually have resolutions higher than 720p. So it's a bit weird, and it's a bad resolution because it's not it's not actually it's not. 60 by 9 at least in the 1.0 pixel aspect ratio so it's really weird and it's hard to work with um i just want to recap if you want to be making videos for youtube you really need to be making them in the 16 by 9 aspect ratio so if you're going to buy a new camera make sure it's 16 by 9 um 720p is a good place to go because that's hd at least um and yeah you need to make sure the pixel aspect ratio is one that generally will be one but anyone into video editing also needs to look at that and make sure that it's one uh, yeah. Okay, I mentioned earlier that 1080p was the highest resolution. It's actually not, not anymore at least. Um, there's another re resolution that's being called 4K. It's being made by Sony. <laughs> uh, and that is literally four times, uh, 1080p. Four times the four four times bigger than the top HD we have now. It's being called four H four. Huh? It's being called four K because whatever that equals it will be a bit of a mouthful. So yeah, it's four K. Also eight K. That's a thing. Don't expect to see that anytime soon, but it is a thing. And re resolutions can go as high as we want, really. I guess until a pixel is as big as an atom. I don't know. That's ridiculous. But why well, say that now? No one predicted mobile phones. Hello? God, living in the past. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah. 4K is actually the highest. Before someone calls me out and they're like, 
720p is the highest resolution available to people in labs because it's not you know 4k tvs do exist and they will be out in the future shortly i mean when i say in the future i don't mean like 20 years or anything like in the near future um but for now it's it's 1080p until the first set comes out and you'll probably know when that happens there'll be advertisements and shit anyway my next topic is 1080p versus 1080i whoa now yeah this is one that a lot of people are curious about but they don't know some people think that 1080p is better some people think that 1080i is better and i'm gonna finally just i'm gonna tell you okay and take my word for it don't don't debate don't fight this is the definitive uh, i'm just going on it. all right let's get on with it um so, I'm going to talk about... I'm going to take about 1080i first, because that's the one that came about first. Now, 1080i is from TVs that are SD. Uh, by SD, I mean standard definition, of course. Um, and so, it, the I stands for interlaced. Uh, and that means that when the TV is creating the image... Because, you know, this HD SD thing has really come about from TVs. So, a lot of it comes from that. Um... I'm going to try and draw this, so it's going to be hard. Okay, so I figured the best way I could show this to you was just to animate it. So that's what I did. Um, now, this pretty accurately shows... <laughs> pretty accurately. Shows what happens on an interlaced TV. Um, now, we can see two, lets of, two sets of lines here. The green lines and the blue lines. And maybe that's a little bit difficult, so I'm going to slow down the frame rate just a little bit, and you'll get a better idea of what's happening. Um, what your TV is doing is it's slowly switching between the layers of pixels. So the the blue, say for example, are the odd odd lines, you know, one, three, five, seven, nine, etc. Uh, and the green are the even layers, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Um, and so at, at, at any one time, only half of the lines are showing. So the blue ones show, and then the even lines show, and the odd ones show, and the even lines show. And this is happening very fast, so your TV, your, your eyes can't even notice that the lines are switching on and off that quickly. But they are. Um, but the important part about this is that because, you know, uh, only the odd lines are there, and the where the even lines go is just black, you're only seeing half of the resolution, technically, if you're following. So, say the resolution... Um, of this TV was 100 by 100, just to simplify matters. Let me go back to black here. Um, that means that you're only seeing 50... Well, no. I'm not going to say 100 by 100. I'm going to say... Uh, there's only... F yeah, there's 100 lines, 100 pixel lines, that it will keep flicking back between. Uh, and because it's only showing half of them, it's only showing the odd ones, or it's only showing the even ones, uh, only you, you're only seeing 50 lines at once, which basically halves your resolution, and so that's what's going on. The lines are flashing real fast, and you're only seeing half. Uh, and so you could consider 1080i because you're only seeing half flashing quickly. That it's actually 480p if you make it into uh, a p resolution. So yeah, that's 1080i, and then 1080p is the HD version. Uh, which is a lot simpler to explain because it's literally that all everything's showing at once. I don't know how to even draw it. Everything, all the lines, ev all the lines everywhere showing at once. Which, you know, if I had to ask you now and I'd only told you this much, I think you'd be able to guess that, you know, which one was the better one. It's the it's the HD one, the one I wrote HD by. <laughs> um, so yeah, progressive is better, and so I say. 1080p is better than 1080i because you're only seeing half at once. Whereas on a HD screen, every single frame, or well, it flashes. I mean, this TV flashes more than every once a frame because you'd notice if it was once a frame, especially at like 30 frames a second or something. Um, but that's flashing very quickly. But all the time that your TV is on, it's uh, on a progressive screen. It's showing all the lines, and so you're seeing the whole frame, nothing but the frame. So yeah. 1080p for the win. Um, but converting stuff between 1080i and 1080p can cause issues because um, just 1080i is very weird. 
And if you're gonna make a video, here's my another pro YouTuber tip or whatever. Um, make it for 1080p because 1080p is better. And modern TVs, uh, now that they're HD and not SD, use um, you, they use progressive screens, so it's not doing this weird flashy shit. So just make it for 1080p, you will have a better time. Yes. And so that works out with our new resolutions. Also, 480p is a thing, by the way. For, sorry, 480i is a thing. Uh, I'm going to draw the scale like this. I'm going to, because 480, if you, if you t convert uh, 480 interlaced into a, 4, uh, into a progressive screen, it would technically be half that, so it would be 4, uh, sorry, 240p, and obviously 240p comes under 480p, so I'm going to put 280i under 240p, 280p, 4, fuck, 480p. Uh, then it comes 1080i, 720p, and 1080p, because I've already went over this, you're only seeing half, so it's that 1080i would only work out to be um, for 540p, which would come under 720. I don't know if my brain's just melted today. Not sure. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, and that's almost it. But I figured I'd go over FPS quickly. I'm gonna go to the end part.